push your ex away and make her want you. Your girlfriend broke up with you and you are devastated. Right now you're probably only thinking about contacting her and convincing her to get back with you and give you a second chance, but that might not be the best way to bringing your ex back. Today you will learn how to shift the balance of power between you and her and make your ex chase you instead. If you follow the techniques in this video, you will be able to flip the situation on its head and have your ex contacting you instead. Number 1. Steal her power back Right now she is in control of the situation and you feel like she is the one to decide whether you two are getting back together or staying friends forever. So trying to flip the situation and stealing her control may sound unrealistic or counterintuitive to what you have been planning, but stay with me as you will see that this is the only way of changing her mind and making her chase you. Pushing her away in order to make her chase you is best done by cutting all communication with her from the start. Surely she is expecting you to text and call, looking for ways to talk to her and getting her to give you a second chance. However, by going no contact on her for a while, you will surprise her and flip the situation for her no longer being the chaser. Now, you are putting her in the position of being the chaser because she wants and expects some form of communication from you. A period of three to five weeks is crucial and utterly unexpected from your ex's point of view. And by disappearing from her life entirely for this period, you are showing her that you are ready to move on and replacing her with someone else in your life. This may not be true for you, but she doesn't know that. The important thing is that she will be powerless in stopping the nostalgia from forming after a couple of weeks with you completely out of her life. Because maybe when she was breaking up with you, she told you that you could be friends, and the only reason why she is doing that is to keep you as a plan B in case Single's life wasn't as good, but now that you disappeared, you removed her safety net and she thinks she has to act quickly before she loses you completely out of her life. Number 2. Be calm and persistent So now that you have sent the message that you won't be just waiting around for her to decide whether she wants you back or not, it's time for the next step. This step is a continuance to the first step where your calmness has shown her that you are not going to stick around to be your ex's backup plan in case single life is not as glorious as she thought. So when she tries to make contact during the no contact period, remember to keep your cool and be persistent with the rule. Do not go running after her once she texts you or lose it when she accidentally bumps into you at your favorite bar. Reply to her text an hour after she sent it and be polite about it. Do not be too cold, but simply be as you would with a dear acquaintance that you haven't seen for a month. This way, you will look friendly but not overly interested and that will definitely throw her off balance. Also, after she writes, do not use her one message as an excuse to text or call her the next day. Instead, reply as you would, and when the conversation ends, do nothing and wait for her to contact you again. You may wait a week, but trust me, she will contact you again, and when she sees that you are not texting her, after a second or third attempt to contact you, you can slowly start communicating with her more often but never initiating a talk about your relationship and getting back together. Keep a casual conversation, but let her bring that subject up so that she feels that she is chasing you and winning you over instead of you chasing her and losing the control once again. This is crucial to making it work. Pushing your ex away and making her want you is not as complicated or as hard as you may initially think it is. It is all about winning the control back over her and playing it cool until she contacts you. This way, you will make her chase you and successfully rebuild your relationship with her once again. One of my female friends just recently went through a breakup with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend stood up in front of her and said, I'm breaking up with you. Her heart dropped. It was like a dagger stabbed her in the heart. She felt ugly, insecure, and sad all the time. She felt devastated. She had no idea the relationship was on the brink of breaking up. The next week she spent in bed crying over him. All she wanted was for everything to be back to normal again and his arms wrapped around her. She wanted him back and she started becoming a little desperate. She tried becoming more sexual with him 
tried making him jealous with other men, and even no contact without it working at all. It actually pushed him more away than getting him closer. Then she learned a couple of simple psychological triggers that work on all men. The way she would win her ex back was to use these psychological triggers in the right order at the exact right time over a couple of weeks. A couple of times per week, she would feed her ex these psychological triggers in person, through text, and on social media. At the same time as winning her ex back, there was another man. She had had a crush on him for years, and he just got single. This guy was everything she wanted, but he was never interested in her like that. Well, what if she tested these psychological triggers on her crush as well? After a week of dripping these psychological triggers into the guys in her life, nothing new happened, but she could instantly see that these triggers started changing their behavior. At the end of the month, she had both men standing in line wanting her. At the drop of a hat, she was the one with all the control. She had finally gained her power back, felt more confident, strong, sexy, and in control than ever before. Now she knew exactly how she could get men to chase her, and she would use these psychological triggers to build a stronger and better relationship than before because she didn't know what men actually secretly wanted. I don't know whether you want to learn these simple psychological triggers or not. If you want to learn what they are, you might want to click the link in the description now. You don't need to click the link in the description now. It's just that you'll learn exactly how to get men to chase you even if you think all hope is lost, it's truly something to check out. If you're running out of options and you have no idea what to do right now, click the link in the description. Also, remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel because you'll get notified of every new Modern Love Potion video. If you're having troubles with love and men, you should watch our three best videos by tapping the screen now. They might solve your love problems instantly kind of like drinking a modern love potion that will make him fall at your feet. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.